Good morning, everybody. Matt Modai here with another episode of The Dong Report. The Dong Report meaning I give out my favorite MLB home run predictions of the day. So as for today, we're talking uh, MLB betting slate for uh, Wednesday, July 3rd. I'm going to have three home run predictions for you guys to lock in three players that I really, really do like to hit a home run. And we've been pretty hot on The Dong Report over the past couple weeks or so, almost three weeks at this point. It's been really, really good. That continued yesterday, in which we were in the green on the Dong Report. Admittedly, slightly green, up 0.58 units, but we'll take a day in the green and be happy about it. Thank you to Luis Robert for hitting a home run for us, who was able to get us in the green. I also upped my unit size on him a little bit, so him coming through definitely did help. Uh, up again 0.58 units yesterday we lost marcel azuna we lost gunner henderson and we lost anthony santander as well gonna have to take a break on the oriole bats for a little bit because it, it's been a couple days in a row now gunner it's been like five days in a row that he hasn't come through for us so gonna have to take a break on those guys on the entire season our season long results still look pretty gross down over 11 units on the season but all of that was at the beginning of the year. And if you isolate the data from June 1st till now, pretty decent amount of success that we're having. Uh, up about six and a half units since June 1st. So it's been pretty good. Hopefully we can keep that rolling. We got one yesterday. Let's get a couple today. Reminder to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are not already. And then uh, like and comment on this specific video. And then check out the Dub Club if you're interested in getting all my plates sent to you for five bucks a month. Enough of that. Let's get into today's dong picks, starting with our play number one, Reds versus Yankees. Give me Aaron Judge to hit a home run plus two 10 odds at FanDuel. So I'm going to go ahead and put three quarters of a unit on this bad boy. And really what it comes down to for Aaron Judge is if you can get him with a pretty good pitching matchup, a, match, uh, a pitcher that you're not scared of by any means, and you can get him for plus 200 odds or higher, meaning above plus 200 odds, then he really just should be an auto bet at that point. You know, I held off on Aaron Judge yesterday because I didn't love the pitching matchup and he hit a home run. So that learns my lesson, taught me that lesson right there. But uh, hopefully we can, uh, Judge can, 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 Judge can continue to stay hot. Hopefully we can also continue to stay hot. And Judge has an excellent, excellent opportunity to hit a monster dong today. He is going up against Andrew Abbott of the Reds. And in general, Andrew Abbott struggles. He does allow a decent amount of home runs. He's also much worse against right-handed hitters. Someone like him with his pitch mix, the fact that he is a lefty going up against Aaron Judge, and the fact that Aaron Judge is a righty, it really is a death sentence, uh, him going up against Aaron Judge. And this is not looking at any specific splits. This is just looking at all of um, Andrew Abbott's stats. He allows the second highest launch angle in the MLB at 21 degrees and has the highest fly ball rate in the MLB as well at 49.6%. Because of those two numbers, he's given up 16 home runs on the year, which is a lot, but 14 of those home runs have come against right-handed hitters. You look at his stats across the board, all of his stats are worse against righties. You can look at numbers that are actually calculated by the MLB, like average, WOBA, uh, slugging, OPS, all that stuff, significantly worse against righties, but the biggest gap and the biggest jump of why he has given up so many more home runs to right-handed hitters, his fly ball rate goes all the way up to 53.8%. He already has a fly ball rate. It's even higher against right-handed hitters as well. And his hard hit rate uh, increases by 6.5% as well, going from a lefty to a righty. His hard hit rate isn't among the worst in the MLB, but it is higher against righties. And it's all about that pretty disgusting fly ball rate. Now you look at Aaron Judge. The guy's pretty good. I don't know if you've heard this before, but Aaron Judge is pretty good at hitting home runs, pretty good at playing baseball. He leads the MLB in home runs. Unsurprisingly, he also leads the MLB in a bunch of other categories as well. Number one in ISO rate. Number one in barrel rate. Number one in hard hit rate. Number one in average exit velocity. All those numbers show you that he hits the ball incredibly hard while also getting incredible contact. He's 13th in fly ball rate and he's 25th and launch angles. Not only does he hit the ball incredibly hard, but he hits the ball incredibly hard in the air. That's generally how you hit a lot of home runs. You hit it hard, you hit it in the air. That also doesn't help that Andrew Abbott throws a four seam fastball 53% of the time. One of the most heavy four seam fastball pitchers in the MLB. Judge, unsurprisingly, has hit the most home runs of all of his pitches 
against four seam fastballs. Granted, he has seen the most, so there is a correlation there. But generally, the pitchers that are worst home run pitchers throw a lot of fastballs. That kind of makes sense why he's given up so many and Judge crushes fastballs. So for uh, plus 210 odds on Aaron Judge, that actually is some value. So let's hope that he comes through for us. If he hits a dong, we will be green for the day. Doesn't even matter what happens with these next two guys. But I also really do like the next two guys that I have. So let's get into them. Uh, Phillies versus Cubs game, play number two. Alec Bohm to hit a home run, a plus 420, very cool odds at FanDuel. So this Phillies Cubs game, depending on what source you look at, this is either the best or the second best weather game of the day, specifically for home runs. In Chicago, it's hot and humid. That helps with carry it being hot and humid. And then there are also slight winds blowing out of the ballpark. It's not an incredibly windy day, but there are slight winds blowing directly out of the ballpark. That helps for home runs. It also helps that uh, Alec Bohm and uh, we're actually going to have a second Phillies batter. Uh, they have a great matchup again going up against a pitcher who really, really struggles against right-handed uh, batters. So I'm going to have two Phillies on the dong report today. Both of them are going to be right-handed hitters. Cubs pitcher on the mound is uh, lefty Shota Imanaga, who you might know of Imanaga because he had an incredible start to the year. He was like, you know, sub two ERA. He was possibly going to win the Cy Young. He was amazing to start the season. Unfortunately, he's really, really come back down to earth. And really since the end of May, over the last five weeks, he's made six starts. And in those six starts, he has really, really not been good. In that span, 6.89 ERA. 4.98 FIP, 4.71 XFIP, 4.48 Sierra. You might not know what all those numbers mean. They're all very bad is all you need to know. Sierra specifically looks at the quality of the batted ball. So that's kind of the number that I give the heaviest weight to. A 4.48 Sierra is really bad. And the biggest issue that Imanaga has had and why he has struggled so much is, he, is, he, is because he is allowing solid contact and he is allowing a lot of fly balls, kind of similar to Andrew Abbott. That's a recipe to giving up a ton of home runs. Again, in this same span, the last six starts, he's allowing a barrel rate of 13.1%. That would be uh, the worst barrel rate allowed in the MLB if he just extrapolated that out to all qualified pitchers. And he has a fly ball rate allowed of 53.8% in that span. That would also be the worst in the MLB. And his average launch angle is 21.4 degrees, which would be the fourth, excuse me, the second worst in the MLB if you just extrapolated that out. That's why he's been struggling so much. He's giving up solid contact and he's giving up fly balls and a high launch angle. And as I mentioned, he is much worse against right-handed hitters. Slugging, Woba, pretty much all his advanced stats are worse against right-handed hitters with the most important one that I kind of want to dial in here is his hard hit rate goes up 9%, whether he's facing a lefty hitter versus a righty. So pretty, pretty decently worse against right-handed hitters. And, and that also does include the beginning of the year when he was borderline unhittable. So good matchup for right-handed hitters. And then Alec Bohm has had a pretty good year for the Phillies overall. He's been an RBI machine. So if you wanted to take him to get an RBI, you could. Granted, uh, the, the injuries to the Phillies bats means that there might not be as many guys on base. And I like the home run angle better, especially at the plus 420, very cool odds. Since June 1st, Bohm has hit five home runs, which is fine. It's not amazing. It's not Santander. It's not Judge. It's not uh, Otani, but it is a pretty good number. And in that stretch, he's got an 11% barrel rate, a 40.7% uh, hard hit rate. That would be the 17th ranked hard hit rate in the MLB. So hopefully in a pretty good matchup, he can come through. And Dong won for us. That is our second play. Third up, third and final pick of the video. Again, Phillies Cubs game. I'm taking Edmundo Sosa to hit a home run, plus 430 odds at Fandle. So all three of these are going to be on Fandle. I probably should have mentioned that at the beginning. But time to talk about our second batter uh, on the Phillies to hit a home run for today, Edmundo Sosa. I'm guessing not a lot of people that come in MLB fan has not heard of Edmundo Sosa. He's a, he's a utility man for the Phillies, basically plays any position that they need because of injury. And the Phillies have had a lot of injuries this year and he's played a bunch of roles for them and he has been excellent. He's been really, really good for the Phillies this year. They've dealt currently are dealing with injuries to Bryce Harper and Kyle Schwarber, meaning Edmundo Sosa needs to play. And previously, Trey Turner missed six weeks. So Sosa was their starting shortstop for a six week span. So He's played enough to get a, a kind of a decent sample size, not as much as an everyday hitter, obviously, but a decent sample size, and he's made a real impact. 
He's right-handed, so he gets the same benefit of going up against Imanaga, who's worse against right-handed hitters. And he, Sosa has significantly better splits against left-handed pitching. Bohm was kind of, some stats were better against lefties, some were better against righties. Generally, his batted balls, Bohm's, were better against lefties, but nothing as dramatic as Edmundo Sosa. Now, yes, he, he does not have enough at-bats to qualify as a qualified batter. So take these numbers with a little bit of a grain of salt. But his numbers against lefties, he's basically a top five batter. If you just look at his advanced stats, he's hitting 317 against left-handed pitching with a 619 slugging, 1.103 OPS, 30.2% ISO rate, and a 429 WOBA. Now, if those numbers don't mean anything to you, if you did extrapolate that out to all qualified batters, that would tie him with the best average in the MLB, would be the third best slugging percentage in the MLB, the second best OPS, the fourth best ISO rate, and the fourth best WOBA. And that ISO rate, 30.2%, that would be well within the excellence category according to fan graphs. Those are all his numbers that you can actually calculate. Then you look at his quality of his batted balls. Fly ball rate, 49% against left-handed pitching. Pull rate, 46%. Hard hit rate, 40%. All of those numbers are much, much better against lefties than they are against righties. All of those numbers would also put him among the tops in the MLB. He's not a well-known name because he doesn't start every day, but he really has been phenomenal for the Phillies. And hopefully that continues tonight. Hopefully he dongs one for us, cashing out our third and final pick of the video. And that is all we got. Three dong predictions for you guys to lock in. Again, remember to like the video, comment, subscribe. All we need is one of these guys to hit a home run and we will be profitable for the day. If we can get multiple, we will be very profitable. I appreciate everybody for watching and have a good one.